I came to check on the truck and thought I would show you guys what got me in trouble at the scale. I talked to a hail trailer who sold me this flip axle and I've been trying to find some manuals online but basically you see this this is like that's the trailer right so the trailer itself is just tandem trailer so just tandem trailer see the trick with the iPhone I can do like this I can do like this okay this is better so the ten the trailer has the the right height control like the master right and then this is the intermediate axle right which means that it has two connectors so it's not the final axle and it has its own right height control as well as you can see over there but when that tap is turned like this the right height control is inactive and this axle shares information with that right and that's how usually you want it on all axles and this one is the same right uh, intermediate axle so it's heavier than the normal if it was a final axle right it wouldn't have this the problem is that it has different design there is too many like the plumbing for this is different from that that axle now let me go over here you see this one there's nothing on this side there's no taps right there's no taps you just hook up everything over there and that's your drain valve and uh, yeah you can close all these taps on airbags but that's nothing but the major one is this one so that's your override uh, if I put it down I can inflate it as much as I want which sometimes is helpful right so this one only has one tap on the side now check out this one this one has one tap in there on the driver's side Where is it? Oh, it was hiding. It's hiding over there, right? That's the black line, which is the airbags. And it has the same taps on airbags, which of course you don't touch. But then it has this, right? It has this thing on the red airline. And when I got the ticket, this one was like this. And for some reason, it doesn't wanna, like now they both open at 90 degrees. And you see the airbags are pretty much maxed out. There shouldn't be any, any, any weight on it, as long as the chain is not, you know, overstretched. And so that's the problem. So I talked to Fontaine about this and said, so what, what the position these steps should be in right because as soon as i do this well now there's no air in the system because the truck has been sitting for a day but as soon as i put this down the airbags start inflating that's that's the override override uh thing you don't want that and so i think ideally it should be all like this it should be 90 degrees and it has its own right height control you see it over there and it's not one of those quick right height controls. I cannot even change it. Yeah, I don't think. Because there's no uh, there's no slider on it. Whereas on, on this one, on the main one, I'm pretty sure there's a slider. I can just take the bolt off. Yeah, you see over there? I can take that bolt off and I can make it shorter or longer. But that one is kind of fixed. And so I've been talking to, I, I called uh, Mark, my buddy from Hail Trail. I said, do you have any, I give him the VIN number. I said, I got this from you, right? A few months ago. I said, it's totally different. The, the plumbing and the switches, it's totally different than the other one. 
And he says, okay, let me see. He says, maybe the guy who owned it, he changed something. And he's gonna try to find uh, uh, the plumbing instructions or maybe some diagrams. Well, I said, maybe there's uh, some kind of operator's operator's manual for this because I could not find anything on online and you see like this one actually it's not supposed even to matter because this goes to the red line and that red line goes in here that's for the next axle what I'm thinking and so the main one should be the main control should be this because this controls this axle right but it's all very confusing I'm telling you yeah you see like this uh, red of course is your emergency brake so parking brakes right blue is the service brake and you see the tap is on the black line which is the airbags which is very important and so I don't know unless we messed up something over here but oh and I talked to them I said so why it has its own right height control who needs it if it's supposed to be common air like that axle is supposed to share information with this and Mark said he had discussions about this with uh, with uh, Fontaine and the F Fontaine's position was that they thought it might be helpful to have its own right height control instead of using common air because they said like in a situation like this where you have three plus one or three plus two with another axle because uh, if you use common air the the right height control is here right so it'll adjust everything as if each axle is like axle two which in fact it's not right uh, but I know mine when I have a heavy load this one is usually uh, has much more load because it's closer it always uh, loaded more than the other axles and this one would be the lightest and what I always try to do is okay technically you're supposed to measure the top of this axle from the top to the bottom of the rail and it should be similar they said on a tandem trail it should be four inches I think on a trident it should be six between the top of the axle and the bottom of the frame but I usually just look at the airbags you know just approximately let's say when I have a heavy load I look at the airbags and try to make them similar in size and the way to do that of course is with this but you see last time when I got a ticket this was inflated all the way because I used this to increase the maximum and still this axle refused to take the weight from the main trailer and that's what I got a ticket for so this was way overloaded this had 77,000 pounds instead of 65 like my permit allowed me 65,000 pounds in Saskatchewan and this one had 10,000 pounds so 77 and 10 87 that's still a lot you know but <laughs> it should have been should have been 65 and 20 let's say you know anyway i'm gonna install like a friend of mine suggested to install the you know these kind of gauges like this one is just you know this gauge but it only shows the uh bsi on this right but i want to install this on all axles like i want that somewhere on the tandem you know just near the airbag and maybe covered in some kind of a plastic bag and then i want another one over here somewhere and definitely over here because if i had those gauges i would see the difference in pressure so that would give me a you know a warning that something is wrong but surprisingly i was able to correct that um, insufficient load when I raised I raised the front of the trailer and I increased the big airbags by one more hole 
and right away according to the scale the weight over here went down from 35,000 kgs to 25 which I don't think is possible and it increased to like 11,000 over there kgs which I don't know what's going on sometimes I think it's just you know because that booster remember had an issue with uh, with this right high control it didn't want to work you know it did it had some dirt in there it didn't want to inflate and so I had to open it up and clean it and I turned that uh, drain pipe downward so now that's how it got um, stuck in there the, because the pipe was facing upward you know there's a drain pipe there right and so I just turned it down and now I think we should be good but yeah in this kind of weather you know with all this stuff flying around so it's no no wonder that things get you know bad especially air and electricity they don't work very well with with uh with this right and you see like all my airbags they have this kind of connectors so i can when i want to lift the axle i just put some boards on the tires and i shorten i drain the air i shorten this and then i can close them and reinflate but but something is really amiss on that last axle so i hope i'll i'll get some answers from from fontaine so if the plumbing was changed on it somehow i'll just go to a trailer shop when i'm back home or if i find one on the on the way to if i find a shop on the way to that looks like a nail If I find a shop uh, somewhere in the States and uh, I, I extended my hotel by one more day because I didn't find anything until lunch today and yeah I gotta fix this I'm gonna buy some uh, fenders in here install them there that's you know just that the reason I take them out before when I had them is because they were hitting the trailer so I gotta get rid of this and uh, we should be good and you see that's what i had to do also one other the other thing that the guy gave me a ticket for was i was too heavy on the front and because this thing was over here and so i moved it like that and i uh that transferred about thousand kgs 2200 pounds to the drives and now everything is melting i don't think i'll have a problem leaving this place and i came i came out to check on the truck and also i i know i was low on def but i i wanted to buy maybe some couple of couple of uh jugs but i went inside and because the, it's pretty warm right now that the def works at the pump and so i, I asked him they said yeah the def works and so i'm gonna get fuel anyway so i'll get deaf as well i just have to get out and enter enter from the street because my tank is on this side i have to get like this uh, almost booked a load today talk to a guy who has some uh, air conditioning unit to go from western canada to midwest and they're paying good money but and they said loading tomorrow I said okay I can be I can be there in three hours and no reply the guy says Are you okay with the rate I said yeah so what's the problem I worked with him before I worked with his broker before and he checked my MC number he says yeah you're on the computer so I said okay screw this so I, I went online and I booked my hotel for one more day so and then just went to the front and I uh, updated my my key right so now basically another reason I came over here is to play on my accordion because I was you know lazy yesterday I didn't want to drag it with me to the hotel which is like 400 meters 
And so I thought, okay, today I'm gonna come out and uh, exercise a little bit before I forget everything. And the new one is coming, the Italian one is coming, probably now in a couple of months. And then I'm gonna sell this one and uh, it'll be good. So that's the update, so still in uh, Lloyd Minster, Alberta, trying to find something because I decided, you know, I ran the numbers again. Yeah, I know I said I wanted to go empty, but man, it's over 3,000 kilometers or 2,000 miles. And the fuel went up in price again. So cheapest would be like $1.55 per liter Canadian. And with this kind of setup, I'm pretty heavy, right? I'm 74,000 pounds, so I would do at least I'm guessing, especially when it gets cold, I would do like 45, 45 um, liters. Hi. I follow you on YouTube. Oh, cool. Because I thought you guys were here to change some tires. I didn't call anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, thanks. I'm just trying to get out, trying to find the... Uh, find... Yeah, those tire guys showed up. They said that they follow me on YouTube. <laughs> I said, okay, good job. And so, yeah, what I was what I, what I was trying to say is that uh, at, even at 45 liters, 45 liters, and there's 3,055 kilometers. So I do 45 liters on a good day with the setup like this. So 45 times 30, right? Because there's 30 stretches of 100 times 155 Canadian price per liter it's probably dollar 60 up north and that's 2,000 bucks right so I don't want to pay 2,000 bucks uh, it would take me like five six days to get there if the weather is bad and so I decided it's not worth it uh, I'd rather find you know even a cheap load even I don't know something that pays three bucks a mile I will still come up on top because I'm not wasting money on fuel. I'm actually using the load to pay for fuel plus make a couple of extra bucks, right? Makes sense? So that's why now I don't care. I don't care how much the load pays. As long as, uh, as there's a little profit there, you know, after fuel and expenses, you know, like tires and maintenance and stuff like that. And so that's why now I'm not in a rush. Oh, some guy's blowing a small dose over there. I'm not in a rush to leave, so... I'll stay here for a couple more days. So that's the update. Thanks for watching. And here's a closer look. So this is the passenger, passenger side. You see there's this step on the right, uh, right side uh, and there's this one on the left side. This one on the, on the black hose. And if all of them are at 90 degrees or close, the airbags do not get any air. And then I turned the uh, right one up, I mean alongside, uh, or the left one, but one at a time, and they start inflating, but with a different, uh, different rate. See, this is the open position, right, on the left side. And I was trying to read the in inscription, but it's all faded, it's very hard to see, and this is the other axle.